Hello my soccer universe and welcome to the third part of my Bundesliga jersey review. Um, I'm wearing Köln who is part of this video now and now the question is how did I choose the teams that are in this video? Well I took the standings from last season. Um, I went 1, 2, 3, 4, 4, 3, 2, 1 as you can see in the table here and then every team that has a 3 here, that's only 4, uh, since the Bundesliga has only 18 teams will end up in this video and therefore we're not starting in Köln or Cologne we are starting in Sinsheim where Hoffenheim is playing yes Hoffenheim is a part of Sinsheim the big center of the SAP industry which of course um, sponsors Hoffenheim actually my, my brother is an expert in that uh, uh, software product so I think he has actually been there but I'm not, not sure if he saw a game Homa again is sponsoring, uh, is supplying the shirts for uh, Hoffenheim and I have to say this time, time around uh, the shirts are not all that crazy. I think every edition accent is reduced to the color which is this kind of asymmetric one. So um, the blue is really nice. I was never a big fan of the Hoffenheim crest, uh, but it fits very, very, very nicely with the sponsor SAP. So, uh, and here I don't even mind the um, box around because it's really part of the entire logo. Um, but I think all the uh, pep of this jersey comes uh, through, you know, the color is black, but then there's this um, turquoise white uh, stroke on one side which I think makes it interesting but also slightly asymmetric but I have, 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 have had to say it doesn't necessarily ruin this jersey it makes it interesting to look at it. it's also mirrored on the sleeve cuffs which I think is a really really good idea to do it this way um, I have to say I actually like it overall but it's not as exciting jersey so uh, six stars I think is rather appropriate as it usually goes with Hoffman until they do something crazy in there uh, the away jersey again has this cut of v-neck that we already saw last season this one I have a little bit more trouble with because uh, the crest is now monochromatic in black and then you know the, the only reason why they have black is maybe the sleeve cut can be in black and gold no uh, it's just something not no, no, not quite right and the color also um, you know if this goes deeper it's it's maybe a little bit better but this way I honestly have to say I'm not a fan of this one uh, it's not a bad shirt or jersey but you know uh, taking all the color out of a team that has only two colors uh, it seems a little bit much four stars I would say uh, and then yeah add all the color we go to uh, one of those colors that you gotta put out this is I think this is magenta this is not even pink this is magenta and then you have um, cyan uh, in there so kind of again it's now full color logo for the sponsor so this is also reflected in there the color is interesting although I'm not sure why they are the, the striping in here uh, but give me a break I'm sorry <laughs> And then, you know, again, the monochromatic lo logo now in magenta is uh, where I should, should go with this one. Maybe uh, I'll stay with four uh, to be a little bit not too strict there. Um, then let's move on after Köln. Uh, I really like this Arima jersey. Ulsport now is again the supplier for Köln and I honestly have to say I am not a huge fan of this race car striping down the middle. Uh, I don't quite understand it and especially and then maybe that by itself would be fine but then uh, the sliver here and then on the side uh, it's just something a little, a little bit missing. I, I have to say I have to yet see a uh, Köln home jersey. I mean the reason I have this one is because this I like the red with the white much better than most of the current jerseys that are white with a little bit of red. Gotta be honest with that. Uh, and then the sponsor of course yeah has to uh, is also breaking up the pattern. Uh, it's not super bad but I think there's a, lot, there's a little bit too much going, going on. I, I don't understand the race car straps uh, for that reason. Again only four stars. I'm very low for this video so far. Yeah I think the away wage is a can get on a board with although it reminds me a lot of this Bayern jersey a red and then you have a darker red in there but actually there's something nice about it. There's a little bit horizontal pattern in there as well. Uh, that makes it quite interesting to look at. I mean it's rather plain but uh, 
I think it has is is a better look than the uh, home jer jersey, and um, it's actually also also worn with the dark red shorts. So uh, that makes it also a. Uh, different um, again no, nothing exciting but I think we here we can go with uh, five stars and then I think the most talked about aspect is this away jersey or the canary jer jersey which I think in the 90s they had something similar like that uh, completely out of the blue but on, on the other side Cologne is one of those big carnival cities so uh, from that mo perspective on it actually makes sense I'm gonna go out on a limb here and say this is the jersey I like best of the three that are on offer uh, despite the crazy, crazy colors but you have um, a red in there which is a club's color then uh, you have the yellow base which is never necessarily a bad, bad idea and the, and the green I think it looks nice I'm gonna go higher with six stars right here Oh, I'm still very low here. Let's see if it gets better. No, Leipzig. I have to say, these are one of the more uh, this disappointing jerseys. I mean, the Red Bull teams also always have white shirt with a little bit of red and then uh, red pants. Salzburg is trying to break this up a little bit. Uh, Leipzig's, I, whenever I saw it, this is just, I got the news that they are now a proper Nike team, so they get always a very special design. But to be honest, the only thing special is here on the sides where you don't see much with those uh, uh, yellow and red specks, which is all the design feature. But honestly, this doesn't do much for me. Uh, it's, it is rather boring. And then uh, the socks with a little, little bit yellow or red, which completely makes it hard for most uh, matchups with, for instance, Dortmund uh, to have proper because the socks are kind of meh. What, what whatever and then uh the logo uh that they has yeah i think they adjusted a little bit because they made the bulls a little, little bit shorter the logo a little bit more prom no more prominent and i noticed when i had to do the uh my graphics for um the bundesliga and and it's on the other side we have the logos roughly equal in uh, area and I knew that the Leipzig logo is always a big thing because the bulls go out so far. They re they really said and made it and simplified it a lot, but still has the bad ball and it's still not a good logo. Honestly, uh, again, this goes right out down the middle, um, five star, if not going a little bit lower, but I, I think five star is all right. The uh, way that's one that we. <laughs> Yeah, well, how much? I, I mean, that this is purple. If you know a little bit about the his, history between Red Bull Salzburg, that this was Austria Salzburg, and they really didn't want to put anything purple on there. And when they made them a, um, I think the only concession they made that a little bit in the crest can be become purple. And now the issue for Leipzig, uh, purple jer jersey with orange to boot, and then uh, the, the logos in yellow, and uh, the yellow of the Red Bull logo is that, that doesn't even fit the um, uh, yellow of the logos weird color you know it's kind of boxed off and then there's a round that doesn't look good and I, and, and I never understand what Nike is doing with the side uh, that there is the side flashes in, in, in a way it's trying too much and it does there is no rhyme or reason for that that's a two star oh this is the worst video I've made so far um, do they redeem themselves with the third jer jersey? Hmm. Uh, actually, I want to know if Dybala is actually modeling uh, the, this one. If you look at the model with the two, uh, with the tattooed arm, this is kind of the, the Dybala tattoo. Um, I like what they're trying to do here to do something really, really different. And I would agree this is the best of the three. It's not anywhere where last season's was the one that they played with at Spurs. Um, the swirls but the problem the problem with the swirls is that if you lose if you use the the logos again in orange on there they get all lost and i think even the red bull logo uh gets totally lost in there so uh, nice try probably the best jersey of them all but i still wouldn't go higher yeah i'm sorry to say uh I think I would give it six stars, but it's not a great, great jersey. That's for sure. Um, and then they also released this 
red jersey. Jersey. I mean, yes, Red Bull now uh, tries to play red away from home. Salzburg is playing in the um, Champions League like that. Right down the middle. Uh, I I give it because this is, I mean, uh, this would be a proper away jersey, six stars. So now we're going from the most commercial team to one of the most, uh, you know, cult teams with Union Berlin. But I have to say, Union Berlin, when they were sponsored, uh, supplied last season by Macron, that made a whole lot of sense to me. Now they're going to Adidas, the most straightforward brand, maybe even... I mean, it's not Nike, but um, it does not seem quite right there that the punk rock uh, ethos is lost for, for me. And then they go with a template that I actually have to say, maybe uh, for Union Berlin, it somehow still does work, but those are not great jerseys. And I am sorry, I also don't necessarily like that the crest is, comes in this weird box. Uh, it also kind of seems odd to me. Sleeve curves, yes, it makes sense. They're yellow and white. Uh, I have this mirrored a little bit here around the collar too. Again, uh, down the middle, not exciting jerseys. Uh, I find it rather non on 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 the for that. But I give it five stars for because for for, for me. Uh, there's something, the image of the club and, and the brand of this jersey, it just doesn't really fit uh, with me. I really like all the away jerseys. Yes, they're choosing a steelish gray or whatever. Uh, but I have to say, giving this accent with the race, and I think we saw this with, with another team or, or already. Uh, yeah, uh, Cagliari had something similar. This is a really great idea. Um, maybe it could have been done in red, but I think this is easily the best jersey we've seen so far. I'm, I want to give this seven, seven stars, even though the sponsor does not really uh, fit in there. And But this is exciting. This is exciting, I have, I have to say. And similarly, I would say also the third jersey, which reminds me a little bit of the Stuttgart alternates, uh, but here it is now blue, uh, you know, the steelish blue and then a dark gray with some patterning in, in, in there. That also, makes actually the logo pop and that one looks also has has much stronger than stronger the others and i would give this uh seven stars well that's it what are the greatest jerseys in there uh quite some contentious one i want to know what you thought about all these jerseys in there uh give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video drop a comment below with uh, your opinion and i will talk to you soon with part four bye hey there i really hope you enjoyed this video and if you did here are some videos and playlists that you might enjoy too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel as it will keep you updated on all the things that are rotating in my soccer universe. And with that, I wish you a wonderful day. Bye!